In the chemistry lab, we will often need to convert between temperature units. You are probably already familiar with the Fahrenheit scale if you live in the United States, and you may be a little familiar with the Celsius scale, but there is also a third temperature scale, the Kelvin scale. In the chemistry lab, Celsius is generally used, and in calculations, Kelvin is generally used. The Celsius scale is based on the freezing and boiling points of water. The freezing point of water is zero degrees on the Celsius scale. The boiling point of water is 100 on the Celsius scale. The Kelvin scale is based on the lowest possible temperature for all substances, which is called absolute zero. Since it is an absolute scale, we do not use a degree symbol in front of the K for Kelvin. We do use a degree symbol in front of the symbols for Celsius and Fahrenheit. The conversion we use to go between Celsius and Kelvin is Kelvin equals degrees Celsius plus 273.15. Because the Celsius and Kelvin scales are related by a simple addition or subtraction, the size of the degree in Celsius and Kelvin is the same. The only difference is that they have different starting points. The freezing point of water is zero on the Celsius scale and 273.15 on the Kelvin scale. The difference between the boiling and freezing points of water on the Celsius scale is 100 minus zero, which equals 100. The difference between the boiling and freezing points of water on the Kelvin scale is 373.15 minus 273.15, which equals 100. It is the same number of degrees for both scales. In our first example, we are converting from Celsius to Kelvin. We use our equation as written and plug in our known degrees Celsius where it says degrees Celsius in the equation. 28 plus 273.15 gives us 301.15 Kelvin. In our second example, we are converting from Kelvin to Celsius. To do this, we will need to rearrange our equation to get Celsius by itself. We subtract 273.15 from both sides and come out with Kelvin minus 273.15 equals degrees Celsius. We plug in our Kelvins into our equation where it says K and get 215 minus 273.15 equals negative 58.15 degrees Celsius. Normal body temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. What is this in Kelvin? Is it A, negative 310 Kelvin, B, negative 236 Kelvin, C, 236 Kelvin, or D, 310 Kelvin? The correct answer is D, 310 Kelvin. To go from Celsius to Kelvin, we add 273.15. The Kelvin temperature will always be larger than the corresponding Celsius temperature. The Fahrenheit scale is based on your everyday experiences. Zero degrees Fahrenheit is the coldest you are likely to experience going outside in winter, and 100 degrees Fahrenheit is the warmest you are likely to experience going outside in summer. There are temperatures above 100 and below zero in certain locations, but the scale was invented at a place and time in which this was the typical range. Using the Fahrenheit scale, the freezing point of water is 32 degrees, and the boiling point of water is 212 degrees. 212 minus 32 is 180, which means on the Fahrenheit scale there are 180 degrees between the boiling and freezing points of water. This is different from the Celsius and Kelvin scales, which have 100 degrees between the boiling and freezing of water. This makes the size of the degree on the Fahrenheit scale smaller than the size of the degree on the Kel Celsius or Kelvin scales. More of those smaller degrees are needed to reach the boiling point of water. The conversion between Celsius and Fahrenheit accounts for the different size of the degree by multiplying by 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit over one degree Celsius, which is the same ratio as 180 degrees Fahrenheit over 100 degrees Celsius. Another way that you might see that ratio expressed is 9 fifths but it's still that same 180 over 100 ratio. The conversion between Celsius and Fahrenheit also has to account for the different starting positions of the scales. The freezing point of water on the Fahrenheit scale is 32, 
but the freezing point of water on the Celsius scale is zero. It accounts for this difference in starting values with a plus 32 degrees Fahrenheit at the end of the formula. This figure shows a comparison between the Celsius and Fahrenheit scales. The Celsius degrees are larger and only 100 are needed to get from freezing to boiling of water. The Fahrenheit degrees are smaller and 180 are needed to get from freezing to boiling of water. In our first example, we are converting between Celsius and Fahrenheit. When we want to solve for Fahrenheit, we use our equation as is. We plug in our 28 degrees Celsius in where the equation says temp in degrees Celsius. We do whatever is in the parentheses first, so we have 1.8 times 28, which gives us 50.4. After multiplying them together, we add 32 and come out with 82 degrees Fahrenheit. In our second example, we are converting from Fahrenheit to Celsius. To do this, we need to rearrange our equation to get Celsius by itself. First, we subtract 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we divide the whole thing by 1.8 over 1. In other words, we multiply the whole thing by 1 over 1.8. We need to be really careful about our parentheses as we rearrange our equation. Once we have our rearranged equation, we plug in 215 degrees Fahrenheit where it says temp in degrees Fahrenheit. We do the 215 minus the 32 first and come out with 183. Then we divide by 1.8 and come out with 102 degrees Celsius. Convert 30.0 degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. Is it A, negative 1.11 degrees Fahrenheit, B, 86.0 degrees Fahrenheit, C, negative 15.3 degrees Fahrenheit, or D, 112 degrees Fahrenheit? The correct answer is B, 86.0 degrees Fahrenheit. We use our Celsius to Fahrenheit equation, which means we first multiply our 30.0 degrees by 1.8, and then second, add 32. Here is a summary of your temperature conversion equations. You don't necessarily need to memorize all four. You can memorize the one which converts from Celsius to Fahrenheit and rearrange the equation yourself to get the one that converts the other way. You can memorize the one which converts from Celsius to Kelvin and rearrange the equation yourself to get the one that converts the other way. Just be careful as you do it to pay attention to the parentheses. You do the multiplication first when converting from Celsius to Fahrenheit but we do the subtraction first when converting from Fahrenheit to Celsius. To solve some problems, you don't necessarily need to do a temperature conversion calculation, as long as you know some common temperatures on each scale. You should know that the melting temperature of water is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, 0 degrees Celsius, and 273.15 Kelvin. You should know that room temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 25 degrees Celsius and 298.15 Kelvin. Body temperature is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, 37 degrees Celsius and 310.15 Kelvin. The boiling point of water is 212 degrees Fahrenheit, 100 degrees Celsius and 373.15 Kelvin. If I were to give you a temperature like 31 degrees Celsius, you would know it is somewhere between room temperature and body temperature. So you would know it is somewhere between 70 and 98.6 Fahrenheit. 